children should play children play naturally it's an innate way of being and a child does not need to learn how to play think about it a child is born knowing how to play so we use play therapy arts therapy you know they draw they sing they dance they tell their story because the deepest emotions cannot be captured by words. Well, definitely, I would say she's a pioneer in child psychology and family psychology. What, what was unique also about her work is that while the presenting client would usually be the child, she would always uh, approach the child with a problem in the context of family relationships and family dynamics. I'm for, first of all, parenting teaching parents how to raise their children as uh, with self-worth mm -hmm. that, that you know you you can you know that you're a good person you have integrity you're proud of it then as now I, I think uh, honey is a very unusual combination she is therapist uh, and we all know that she has a tremendous uh, and successful practice. She, she works in an area that is very relevant, children and family. She's also uh, a scientist, you know, she uses her practice, whether in the clinic or out in, out in the field, as her laboratory. And from the data that she gathers from these experiences, while she's helping people, she's also uh, helping understand and uh, describe and theorize you know, on Philippine psychology. So she, she publishes a lot, perhaps not in the traditional scientific journals, but she has many books which are much appreciated. Honey is also, I think, uh, what makes her so rare is aside from being a therapist, a scientist, she's a great teacher. So she trains and mentors many, many young graduate students and young psychologists. And these are the ones who will eventually, I guess, take her place. Personally, for me, she exemplifies what we want our students to be, a psychologist for others. Through her work and her advocacy, her focus on children at risk and those who are most vulnerable, through her teaching, through her practice that is informed by science and her practice that informs science. After three decades of mentoring, teaching, writing, and researching, I said, what is the psychology as a science if we're not going to help human beings and to, to be uh, better, to improve, and we will not, if we will not use our science of human behavior and consciousness for the well-being of the human being, what is it for? So I brought the science of psychology into the grassroots by forming an institute. And this institute now we have parenting is nation building. That's our major flagship program. Parenting is nation building. So we do parenting for payatas, uh, tumana, poor communities where the parents are very, very receptive. And so we go there, not, to, not because they're poor and not because of external situations, but to make their mindset, to change their mindset. Then we also go to disaster areas. When we go to a disaster area, we first have a shared conviction. The team shares this conviction that every person, young and old, rich or poor, has resources inside them, capacity to heal. But all what we do is we facilitate to bring up bring forth and bring out their natural ability to heal. Our OFW project is called AMA, A-M-M-A, -M -M -A, AMA, na magaling mag-aruga sa anak. The origin is a research we did, an in-depth research we did for families left behind by mothers. We don't just teach them what we know, we learn from them. There's a certain humility to it, no? that we don't have all the answers. They can even have their own answers if we only facilitate how to bring it out. That is the secret, I think. To respect them, 
to listen to them. Listening is the most important thing. To listen is to love. When you're listening to a person with your total presence, you are giving that person more than anything because you're telling that person that you are a worthy person. You matter. You are important. Dr. Karandang's, I think, greatest contribution has been especially in her advocacy and outreach with regards to vulnerable children. Her work has been practically her whole life. And so I think that's what's exemplary about her, that her, her advocacy, her outreach has been fairly consistent for a number of decades already. Integrity means you have a core of values inside you, that every decision you make, you consult your own values internally and see whether it fits. So you have a core of core values there no? that are very, very important to you. You live by it. So every decision you make, you go back to yourself. You are integrated. You are not easily swayed by influences of environment, money, corruption, because you have wholeness. For me, that's the best gift you can give to the child, the Filipino child.